I just woke up from a nap, which is why I look like this. And I already showered and stuff because I went to the gym. I'm like, oh, let me lay down for a little bit, girl. I have to be on a date in um, an hour. So I need to leave in an hour and I look like this. <laughs> what the heck girl i was so freaking tired so i'm about to make magic do its thing i had to put my shirt on because it's so freaking tight um i knew it would mess up my makeup and stuff so i hope whatever outfit i have mentally planned out looks decent because what's going on right now i don't know <laughs> i'm choking i'm choking it's a little too tight skins what's going on so i got the gorilla snot i got some edge wax because what is this i didn't even put product in my hair after the shower is this not backwards is that why i'm choking in it <sighs> why is it so tight like for real for real i'm also looking like the rock right <laughs> oh my gosh i cannot right now i don't have time for this let me look like a bad bitch, okay? By the end of this. That's all I need is to feel like a hottie. Like a freaking hottie, man. So I'm just going to get ready with you guys. I needed to find my sexy again, which is what I did when I went to Vegas. That was like my purpose. Not to like find my, well, yeah, I get myself back and figure out who is she you know and it was just really nice to go out and get cute for all the day parties and the night parties and to be socializing again that's what i really missed like girl i thought i forgot how to flirt <laughs> turns out it comes natural shout out to all my leos i don't know about you guys but sometimes i'd be getting myself in trouble because i just have a big heart leos we have the biggest hearts and we wear our hearts on our sleeves so it's a good thing and it's a bad thing but let me just say i was definitely thriving okay in vegas like i just felt cute and i was missing the whole getting ready aspect that was something i just never do i still have a hard time getting ready for the day because i'm always in the gym literally six seven days a week so i find it to be pointless so i want to start like getting cute for the vlog, getting cute to record in the gym, getting cute to just run errands, going on more dates. And this is my first date, you guys, since being in the DMV. Like, what the heck, man? It's been like six months. Child, like I'm actually ready to go on a proper sit down. Let me get to actually know this dude. And one thing I miss like in Vegas, it was just so natural to just be out flirting and like, oh, I see a cute guy, let me go talk to him. I love that. Like, I just am very much so in the moment, like, let me catch the vibe, catch the energy, see if there's something there versus, like, I met this dude on an app, right? I don't know his vibe, his energy, and then you gotta go out of your way and plan up a day and a time and a place and, like, what you're gonna do and, like... Is it going to be good energy versus like, like, is it a waste of my makeup type vibe or an outfit or the gas that I'm spending to get there versus being out organically meeting someone? It's like, I didn't do my makeup for this, you know, like I was already going to be here type thing. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? I don't know, but I am excited. I definitely think I'm ready. <laughs> Child's cuffing season, okay? It just came to me, girl. It's time to go out and meet some people <laughs> and i don't even care if this date goes good like there are conversations i'm definitely seeing it more so as like a friend vibe like on my end so best case scenario i get a friend out of it and i need that so i think that would be the best for me honestly y'all want to come on this date with me should i like sneak <laughs> sneak a little clip or something bro remember when i went to sephora i'm gonna use those products which i've been using and i love 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 especially some of them i was like i don't know about this i actually really liked how my makeup lasted there was one picture my boy took of me girl i blacked out i fell asleep took a nap woke up went back out 
Tell me how I passed out like this on the bed so I wouldn't get my makeup everywhere. And my makeup was looking amazing. Like, it was a little bit shiny. Maybe I'll insert a photo here. But other than that, like, it was doing what it needed to do. Like, it was lasting through the day parties. It was lasting through the night parties. And I love that for me because I really didn't have to do anything. So, these products are where it's at. Um, I've been using this pencil for a while. Shoot. Let me speed up to the basics because I, I got things to do. <laughs> it's already 4.40 and I have to be out of here. What time I said? 5.30? Oh my god. I gotta go. Hold up. Okay, y'all. I have my face on. I'm just blending in some concealer. Forgive the angle. <laughs> and forgive the lighting that is my kelvin bathroom lights right now and also this is not a tutorial you'll probably learn what not to do for your makeup this is literally just how i've been doing my makeup whenever i do get cute or whatever so i'm gonna go in with my concealers now the biggest thing i've been doing is using cream products to contour my face and you guys like why am I this late to the game? So I like using the Boreless Way by Too Faced. And I have three different colors that I like to use. A light color to highlight. A warmer tone to contour. And then, um, well sorry, this is my skin color to conceal. This is the lighter one for highlighting. So I'm using Chestnut to contour with. And then Light Beige to highlight. And then Sand is my skin tone. So for the powder that I've been using to set, you guys know I just picked up the banana bread from Huda Beauty and I didn't know that I was going to like this just because it is scented and the scent, I mean, I think it smells good, but at first I was kind of thrown off. I was just a little bit concerned, like what is, like why, <laughs> literally why, um, packaging, not my favorite because this is a little bit hard to get up if you have nails like me. Um, and I find this sifter to be, it's like a mesh. But like a cloth i don't know i find that there's it's hard to get the product out so i have to keep turning it upside down and pounding the back essentially to get it out versus like my laura mercier amazing um but i do like how it wore on my skin and i think it lasts a long time it is very smooth so i'll show you guys that when i go to bake i've been baking my face again which if i'm gonna take time to do my makeup i'm gonna do all the steps right so i'm putting my like light concealer color to highlight and i've been contouring my nose with a cream which is also something super different for me that i never used to do and i like it so much better um, than using a powder also i'm not beauty guru i'm gonna say it again i'm not a beauty guru okay don't come for me in the comments so I'm going to blend that out first with my beauty blender. And I don't like this. I just bought this new one and I washed it this morning. And I don't know if it's the pink one because my other ones don't do it. But this bleeds pink dye. So that's a little bit alarming to me because now I'm like pounding pink dye onto my skin. So I don't think I'm going to buy the pink ones anymore. Anyone else notice that? I don't know. That's just very bizarre to me. Uh, but anyway, I'm just going to blend in the concealer and wherever i put this lighter color is where i'm going to go over with the baking powder i have been on this amazing like you guys know spirituality is super important to me and journaling and manifesting which i have manifested so many amazing things behind the scenes oh my gosh i cannot wait to tell them to you when i'm able to just give me a few weeks and we're going to have an announcement very soon but i've been journaling about finding clarity not necessarily journaling about specific things like i think journaling about finding clarity is extremely powerful because once you do everything around you begins to look so different in the best way possible right so for example i've just recently realized because realizing things you know i realized what i'm able to tolerate versus what I'm not willing to tolerate. And I think that alone is an extremely powerful thing because, um, I don't know, like there's a lot of distractions in life, right? So once you kind of differentiate what is worth your time versus what is a waste of your time versus what's for you and what is not for you, 
everything around you changes. The way that you see things changes. The way that you think about things, your mindset changes, right? Your habits begin to shift and adjust and align with that clarity that I've been asking for. So I've really needed this time to myself to reflect on what I want and through this reflection I've had, it's made me realize that I wanna start getting out and getting to know people and having those relationships again. And I know for me, I was definitely using the excuse of it's a pandemic, which we are still in, but I was just using it. Like, I don't wanna go out. I don't, just wanna be in bed, wanna be on Netflix, want to just do YouTube, want to go to the gym, that's it. Like, it literally was just very much so that, and I obviously am fully vaxxed, so I think that I, that there's safe ways to go about doing things, obviously, but I don't know, like, I just don't want to keep using that as a freaking excuse as to why I don't want to make connections here. I've been here for six months. Like, I could have had a friend by now. What the heck, man? And I feel like, in a sense, I held myself back. But obviously, I wanted to be safe. Like, let me just say that first. But also, like, you got to have a balance of life, right? You can't just be locked up in the house. Um, like, Akon. Locked up, they won't let me out. Literally me, okay? I was locking my own self up in my room. My itty-bitty room. For what, bro? So, when I was in Vegas, it just, like, that clarity I was looking for came to me, like, I miss this. Like, I miss being me again and going out and being bubbly and friendly and talking and being flirtatious and having fun and enjoying the moment and not being so caught up in, like, let me post this. Let me take a picture of that. Let me record this. Like, I just wasn't thinking about that stuff. Like, I don't know. It was just a very different set of eyes that I felt like I was looking through and for that I'm extremely grateful like literally had the best of times and I'll have memories for a lifetime a little bit you guys goes a long way so I dot a few dots on the areas that I want to contour when I first did this, I did lines, and girl, that was too much mother fudging product. It was looking like a mud show, so. Um, now that that's on, I use this like angled brush from Sigma to blend and pat in the nose. This is like the best brush um, for my nose I've found. So if I can find it, um, I believe I can get it on Amazon. Actually, I think it's on my Amazon store, but I'll try to put links down below for you guys. And I bring it up into the brow, so it also kind of contours that. I learned that on YouTube. <laughs> I do be learning some really cool things, I'm not going to lie. I love YouTube for that reason. If you ever need to know something or get motivation or inspiration. Anyway... That's what I do for my nose. Ooh, chill. And then for my face, one of my subscribers recommended this brush for me to blend out the rest. And I love this brush. This is Sony Kashuk. I'm sorry, Real Techniques. Um, so I'll link this below. And that's just the perfect amount of cream contour because it is so pigmented a little bit goes a long way but I like this method better because I set with like a translucent powder. So it looks more natural than using like a bronzer and making it look cakey. So this has been like my new favorite way to contour. Like it just looks so nice. Obviously not in this lighting, but I'll show you guys when I'm dressed and everything, the full look so you can get a better idea. Although it might be dark by the time I leave. Oh my God, it is 456. Good thing I already got gas in my car. See how nice that blends? And this brush does not pull product where it shifts the foundation that we already set. So this literally took me like five trials and error to figure out how much product and which tools to use. So you just gotta try different techniques. You know what I'm saying? That was also part of my self-discovery is how to do my makeup again, cause girl, I forgot. Now that that's done, I can go and bake my face. Um, and I do kind of a lot of this because I want it to be like brightening and stuff. So 
see is everywhere. Oh my god, and I meant to eat before I <laughs> went out of the house. Now I'm hungry. Oh my god, like I just don't look at this video for the lighting purposes because I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not making me look cute, but let me tell you, my technique is nice. Now I ran out of powder, so I have to always keep doing this. Oh, and then it just gets everywhere, so I don't know. Would I repurchase this powder? It's hard to say. I'm going to go back over so I have a nice bit of layer. And I can't wait to show you how I do my eyeshadow because I actually learned some new things. And um, do my eyeshadow differently now. So Also love that for me. Alright, so now that that's set, I'm going to set my the rest of my face with a different powder. This was just over that lighter concealer and the contour. You know? Do I have time to eat before I go? Before I go? Do you guys eat before a date? I just need to know. I only want to eat because I just can't eat a lot of things. Unless we go for Thai food, which I might suggest we go for drinks at one place. Because I don't like their food, but their drinks are nice. Um, which we're going to Bar Louie. Um, it's a cute little ambiance. And then maybe I'll be like, oh, let's go get Thai. Because doesn't that sound amazing? If it goes well. If it doesn't go well, then honey, I'm a dip. I'm going to be like, all right, bag, I go. <laughs> you know what I mean? But there's options. Um, this is the powder I use. Too Faced Born This Way. And I've been using a different setting spray, too. I mean, it's still Urban Decay, but... Um, it's the pollution protection or something. So I don't know if that one like locks better, but it did something. Oh, you know what? I'm lying. It's the ultra glowy. That's why my freaking makeup was looking so freaking glowy. Yep, that's what it was. Because I had transferred it into a smaller bottle for the plane or whatever. Yes, I love. Okay, that I'm gonna put you guys on to the extra glowy because it was flawless. So anyway, moving on to my eyes. I don't prime my eyes, but I am using this palette from Morphe. I don't know anything about this brand. It's called Happy Hour 15H. I don't know, but it's a bunch of orange colors, and the only ones that I use are this one, this one, this one, and that one. So... Let me get my brushes out. I really need to hurry up because I need to get dressed and figure out my shoes. Um, I'm going to use this. I don't even know why I'm doing a tutorial. Nobody cares, really. Am I wasting my time right now? Nobody cares. Why are my eyes red? This is what I look like when I'm nervous, I guess, or anxious or excited. I can't really put my finger. I I think I'm excited because I don't want to pop off tonight. Just wait. my pants on feed my dog um i had to tuck my necklace in it was definitely giving the rock i set my face with the ultra glow from urban decay and if you like a glowy dewy look highly recommend it locks in my makeup so good and doesn't make it look cakey or powdery um lashes i'll link those down below lip i'll link that below as well so just check out the description um, I haven't heard back from this guy, and I'm not going to leave my house until I know that we are confirmed. Bro, you got a good 15 minutes to reply me, or I just did my makeup for nothing. And if I got out the bed for this, I'm going to be really upset. I'm going to be, mm, be really upset. He better be in the shower or something. Also, he's like my neighbor, too. Isn't that weird? I don't know. Anyway, that's him. <laughs> Okay.
We are confirmed. I literally was about to be like, if this dude does not hit me, I don't know about y'all, but I'm not about to leave my house if we are not confirmed for the fourth time, okay? I confirmed this morning. Um, why well, I switched up the times, you know, anyway, look, regardless, don't waste my time. I won't waste yours because y'all know how long it takes to get a girl ready. Dudes, they can just hop in the shower and put on an outfit, you know, like I need to make sure before I get in my car and waste my gas. Okay. So yeah, let me hurry up because I need to get dressed, show you guys my fit. Let me take a selfie for the thumbnail before I forget. And, um, an outfit photo. Mm, I kind of want some fries. This new iPhone is ridiculous. Like, what blurriness. What blurriness. Ooh, let me post up. For all those dudes in my DMs, just kidding. <laughs> I gotta go. Oh my god, I need to hurry up because he's like, oh, I'm about to leave. Bro, we are like almost neighbors. So I need to pray that these freaking pants fit. And I don't know if I want to be casually dressed. Ooh. <sighs> or if I want to wear heels. <sighs> okay. Jeans a little stiff, but that's okay. I'm gonna put these um Anna Louisa earrings in. And then my mom is feeding my dog for me because child I'm running late. God, my stomach is like, girl, I know you're playing games. Is this too much? Is this too much? I don't know, but what? I'm finished with like Ariana tonight. Oh my god, yes. Oh Jesus. Imagine I forget. Can you imagine? I forget the other earring. Um. Is this too much? Baby, if you're too much for him, he's too less for you. I don't know how, how I can get these earrings in with these freaking nails, but it's a miracle. Oh, shoot, I gotta get my purse. I think I'm gonna wear this bag, it's super cute. I love a fur bag, oh my gosh, yes, giving. Is that all I need? Case phone, lips. Oh my God, what shoes am I gonna wear? Oh my gosh. And my hands are ashy. Should I just put on heels? I feel like I should have. White boots, which I don't think these are gonna go. These are honestly so tight in the toe box. Black strappy heels. Oh. Actually, the white boots are kind of doing it for me. Let me see this. I hope this guy is not short. <laughs> honestly. I kind of like these boots. They are doing it for me. Um, these I wore all over Vegas and I did not cry. I did not die. Okay, so I would recommend these little pretty little thing. Actually, they're sold out, so never mind. But I, I would order more heels like this from them. Jesus. I'm trying to see which one looks better. Ooh, it's the strappy heel for me. It's just like the black is very much so giving oh, you know should i just do it who is this girl that wears heels now because baby i would rather be wearing some air forces yeah jeans and a cute top yes you can never go wrong with that oh hold up now can i walk in these or could I only walk in them in Vegas because I was drunk the whole time? Let me stop. Okay. Um, jeans, don't know. Top is skims. Shoes are a pretty little thing. Bag is also a pretty little thing. Pray for my big toe. 